So, is it on? Yes. So, um, you know, we'll talk about Jesus. I know there's Jesus in your Quran. So, what do you understand by Jesus in your Quran? He's one of our prophets. Prophets. What, what is really a prophet? And who is a prophet? He like spreads the word of God to the... The word of God. So, yeah. so what is a prophet? Tell us. What do you understand by prophet? It's some, uh, it's, uh, um, it was sent as a message from God. Mm. Okay. Spread to people. Okay. But do you know that you could also have, just like you have your name, someone else can come in and also answer your name. You know you can have that, isn't it? Pardon? You can have counterfeit of everything, isn't it? I mean, like, like we have original. We also have counterfeit of stuff, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So that is where the beginning of controversy, you know, beginning of the issue, confusion, people are like, well, which is this, which is, you know, yeah. everywhere people are just confused. So, in essence, they are all trying to confuse Jesus. You see? So that's where they came to make sure they confuse people about whom Jesus is. But the thing is, if you must be like, how do I put it, like, prayerful, sincere enough, you know, to yourself and ask, you know, and ask the question before you may be privileged to understand. So this is what it's about. it boils down to. So that's why Christians who have believed in God, they go out to find out, you know, where and where is all these things going, you know. So, in essence, people have called Jesus different kind of name. Is da, 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 da. But some have discovered that, look, they don't want us to know the truth. At the end, is the truth the world is fighting. You see? So, and what is the truth? What, what can you say is the truth? <laughs> that is it. So, the truth is always the beginning of things. So, what is the beginning of things? And it's God who is the beginning. And who only knows the end. So, if Jesus now came from the beginning, he has to give us the message of the beginning, isn't it? And whatever thing he has said is true. And it's not something we should be fighting about. Because it's, it's written there in the Bible. Because the Bible is free gift to everybody. It's not, I must be Christian to read the Bible. No, because it's the law of life, the law of God. So anybody, that's why it's free for anybody. Nobody has any excuse to say he, doesn't, he has not heard of the truth or he hasn't read, he hasn't known, you know, principle and laws and all that. Even the people who haven't gone to church, who don't even know anything about church, they take every principle from there and they are working with it. So nobody is going to give excuse, isn't it? So now, it's the same Jesus. They mention every other place. People come in, they write, they paraphrase the Bible, write anything. And it's the same Jesus, everybody. So people now take Jesus for themselves and they, they take it the way it suits them. You see? So, if actually we say Jesus is the truth, how then will you identify the true Jesus then? Because if everybody they have brought out counterfeits and everybody indoctrinates, even somebody can wake up today and say I'm Jesus and all that. So how then can you identify the true Jesus? So anyway, to make it short, the best thing is if you go into your closet, you speak to God. Please, Father, if Jesus is your messenger, sorry. If Jesus is your prophet, is the person you have sent to show us the truth, please reveal him to, to me. You want to well search and say, those who Jesus have, have uh, visited or has revealed himself to, or stuff like that. That means you are ready to know the truth, isn't it? That is how you find out the truth. So in essence, they have told us all kinds of things about Jesus, but that is, it was a lie, all the things they have been telling us. Because Jesus is the actual essence of the power of God in us. He came to reveal the things God has put in us. He came to reveal the essence of our life. And that is why you see this country now. How many countries will give us this type of freedom we have here? Yeah, but it was because of the, uh, the, 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 the provision of the Christianity who told us that Jesus came out to give us freedom. They brought the truth to us. That's why all of us are enjoying it now. Even those who are fighting Jesus, they are still enjoying it. You see, that's the love of God. And that is why Jesus came to actually die he actually died, but some will tell you all kinds of things, you see. 
So that's why it's personally, you need to be sincere to ask to know. Otherwise, anybody can lead you anywhere. Is it not mothers who can kill their children? Even child can kill the mother. You can't even trust them. So that's more reason you have to trust God. And you trust God, you have to ask. You don't just follow anything. You have to ask. Because if you don't, as you don't know, you just be saying the same thing you are told, da, 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 and you can't prove it. So, because some of us have discovered, we thought, this is a real life. We need to share it. Everybody needs to find out for themselves so that we'll stop fighting each other. You get what I mean? Because if we know the truth, and then, because truth is love, so if we know the truth, and everybody know it, we will not have all this uh, nonsense everywhere. We won't have it. At least we'll continue the same thing that we're enjoying. We'll now continue to water it. But because we have all refused to seek the truth, that's why we're all like this. So we want you as well to go and find out who Jesus is because Jesus is the Savior. Like you have now your flesh, you have your soul, you have your spirit. So God have the Godhead, the God's uh, Son, and the God's Spirit. So because what we are made in the image of God. So that God's Son is Jesus. So he came in the flesh to show us the way. So we can, we can decide to call it what we understand. God is not really, uh, you know, like uh, uh, fuming about that. But what he's trying to say is to know the real meaning of his coming. Why he came is actually to die because of this controversy that we have, uh, Adam and Eve have initiated because of the sin which they have put upon us now to give us this confusion and distraction. So that's why Jesus came to actually exchange this life and give us a better life to live and give us, show us the truth. So it's high time we receive Jesus, the truth that he came to bring to us so that we'll be able to profess the right thing because after here on earth, there's life after death so that we can have eternal life, life after and, and spend it with God. So God doesn't want us to just live this life carelessly and then die carelessly. Yeah? So it would be a good thing if you try and research and anytime you pass by, tell us what you have discovered so that others can learn. So if we truly love, like we say, whatever religion we are, everybody believes in anything, but what we are trying, right, in essence, is that God is not about religion. God is not about religion. God is about understanding Christ, what he came to do, and living the life of Christ, what he came to show us, so that we will find a place in God. Because if we don't do that, we can't find a place in God. Mind you, some of the things in the religion, I know most of you don't know about it, you may not have researched much about it, but it will be wise you find out for yourself. Because by the time we we'll finish here on earth now, you will not have any excuse when God starts asking you, how have you done this? I gave you this person, this person spoke to you, this person met you, what did you do with the word I gave to them? You will not have no excuse. So you have to search for yourself and know Jesus for yourself and know who he is. So that nobody will tell you, eh, is that prophet who was sitting down there or who said Jesus was it? No, it's more than that. Even the marriage he came to show us, the marriage he came to show us, the marriage between him and the church and those who believe you know that he's the son of God. You understand what I mean? So that's the marriage he showed us. Marriage is not for 10 people, 6 people, uh, 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 3 people, uh, 5 people, 4 people. It's not. He came, he's, he's, he's now the husband of the church, of those who believe in God, who are born of God. Because if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you are not born of God, you've not received the life of God. You can live this life because God has already disconnected because of the disobedience of the original sin. Yeah? So that's why we are seeing everybody now messing, struggling, doing all these things, you know? So, yeah, you have questions? I have to go home because my mom told me before. Oh, no problem, darling. Anyway, I would like you to, I would like to share this with you. Try and read and bless others as well. Make sure you find out for yourself. I'm not joking. Don't joke with it. It's your life, okay? Everyone live their life. Nobody's going to live it for anybody. Yeah? And I pray God will show his mercies upon you. May he guide you. May he lead you. May he show you his love and his power. May he hear you when you call. And may he, because he forgoes the days of ignorance, may he forget your days of ignorance and give you wisdom of God in Jesus' name. God bless you. Take care. Yeah? Thank you for your time. Bye, darling. Bye. What's the uh, conclusion? I think they're on their way to accepting Jesus. Yes, they're on their way, and um, they will have to have they will have to think about it. You know, for this to get into their head because they still have some stuff in their mind. So now we've just released the seed. 
and it's for them to sit down and uh, 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 contemplate on it, so they be, they be able to get understanding. So that is that is it actually, and they are quite open, which is good. They've not been held by the stronghold of religion yet, so it will be easy for God to deal with their case. Glory to God. Amen. Amen.